Welcome to another video by I Get Trades. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up a great pre market scanner. Now, if you haven't done so already, the first thing you want to do is go through these tabs and go to the one that says scan and make sure you're on stock hacker. Okay. Now, once we're in the right place, we're going to come all the way over here to these filters and we're going to add a few filters, things we want to search for uh, before the market opens. Now, you'll click add filter. And next you'll go to stock. Now you'll have this line show up here and this drop down. And in this drop down, you want to go down to where it says last, which is the last price. Now I like to set mine up at 25 cents. And of course, it's up to your discretion where you'd like to start. And I go all the way up to about $15 just to get a nice little range. Doesn't mean I'm going to trade that high, but that's the range I'd like to see every morning. Uh, when I do my pre-market scan. Now that's the first part. The next part, we're going to add another filter and this will be for volume. So once we click add filter, we'll again hit stock. And in this drop down, we're going to search for volume close to the bottom here. And because this is pre-market, the volume hasn't gotten spicy yet, of course. So we're going to just make it a hundred thousand. And once the market opens, I do adjust it and change it to a million. But for now, because this is a pre-market scanner that we're building, we'll go ahead and make it 100,000. Now, there's one other step that's very important. And if you don't do this third step, you won't see the results pre-market. You'll only be able to see the percent change once the market opens. And this is what makes it a great pre-market scanner. And it's this right here called mark percent change. Now, in order to do that, you have to go to this little gear icon here and you hit customize. And you'll do a search for mark percent change, as you can see right here. Okay. And you're going to click add item. Now we already have it in there. Okay. But I just wanted to show you exactly how to do it. And it's very important that you hit OK. All right. Now, once you do that, you could come all the way up here. Sorry and hit save scan query. And what that's gonna do is give you the ability to save it. We'll call it pre-market scanner and hit save. All right, so now our scanner is saved. Now we could go ahead and hit a scan. And what you wanna do is click on this mark percent change. So that way it's sorted from highest to lowest, okay? And you'll do that every morning when you come in. Now, if you notice, we're only seeing 50 results of 2215. All right. So what I like to do is change this to 2000. And then we scan and it's going to ask you, you have requested a very large number of symbols. It may consume a lot of memory and network traffic and degrade performance of your application. Do you want to continue? Go ahead and hit yes. Uh, because if you don't have all the results in there, then it's not going to sort it per, uh, properly. Now, before market, you'll probably have less than 2,000. But once you sort it under mark percent change, the first few results may not have anything. But if you notice, here we go. And we have our top results here. Now, this is a scan that we're doing after market. But it still shows you exactly what it's going to look like when you do your pre-market scanner. And if you want to resave it with the 2,000 results, you could just go right here. Save scan query. Keep it under the same name. It already exists. Do you want to rewrite it? Hit OK. And now you have your pre-market scanner. Now, again, it's very important to add this mark percent change. If you do not add this, you're just going to see zeros and no results are really going to show up or you're not going to be able to sort it the way you want. And of course, you have the ability to change these ranges. If you want to start at 0 0.05 cents, you could do so. But 25 cents to $15 is the range that I work with. Again, I start with 100,000 in volume. Once the market opens up, I just simply add a zero and then it'll make it one million and then I'll get the big runners. Um, and, you know, you could see the volume here if you wanted to. But I start with 100,000 because it is early in the morning when I do my first scan. It's typically at 7 a.m. Then I do another one at 8 a.m., 8.30 and 9 a.m. And then maybe one more after the market opens closer to 9.45 course, you could do this as many times as you want throughout the day. But the main purpose of this is to be a pre-market scanner so you could see all the, all the big stocks that are moving at the beginning of the day. Now, if you want to take it an extra step, uh, you could go ahead and add this to your watch list. Okay. 
Um, you could simply go right here and under personal, all these little purple ones are scanners that you've created or ones that are pre-built. And here we go, pre-market scanner. And uh, it'll start showing your results here. And you could do the same thing. You could sort it here, scroll down, and, and you could just have another view of it. So if while you're looking at your charts, you want to look at it that way, you can do so as well.